What's up Tubers, it's your boy Itchy and I've got a quick update. I'm about to actually do some modifications on my Hackintosh that I built earlier this year. Um, and if you can look right here, there's one door at the bottom, there's the other door with the fan running. Uh, there are my hard drive bays right there. There's an SSD in that bay and uh, all the rest of my Hackintosh bill. But what I'm about to do is actually take one of these standard hard drives and format it for Windows and install Windows 7 on my Hackintosh so I can have a dual boot system. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I just really ultimately need to do some PC gaming. I've gotten very curious about it and I think I've got a really good machine to do that with so I figured why not and I'm gonna actually start the process. So I just wanted to show you guys the initial and I will come back to you as I get finished. But what I'm going to do is unplug this second hard drive here and make sure that's the right drive. Then I'm going to format it uh, FAT32 for Windows. And once I do that, I'm going to go through a few short steps that I will tell you if, it, if this all works uh, when I'm done and tell you how I was able to uh, get a dual boot system. So, uh, wish me luck. I'm about to get started and here goes nothing. Alright Tuber, so check it out. I have just unplugged my actual drive for my Mac operating system and my scratch drive and I've only got this single drive here that is one terabyte that I'm installing Windows on. I've got one Windows installed disk running right now in the DVD drive, DVD drive, excuse me, and it's loading right now on, school, on screen as it shows here. Um, I've also got some external hard drives that I use. I've got like four of these terabytes. There's another one right there, so they're all over the place. So just to kind of give you guys an idea, um, I store all my YouTube stuff on that. Um, I will be doing a video if you guys would like later on um, showing you my editing process. Just let me know and I will do that if uh, you guys are interested. But right now, again, uh, I am installing Windows on this standard hard drive. And the reason I went with the standard hard drive over, a S over an SSD is because I frankly didn't want to go out and buy an SSD at this particular point. I just wanted to see if this was going to work correctly first. So I had a terabyte drive that I really wasn't using. So I said, what the hell? And also it would just give me an opportunity to uh, see what the speed difference is from my Mac OS, which is running on a full SSD to a standard, uh, I think that's a 7200 RPM uh, drive. So it's not a slow drive by any means, but it's just, it's not the same as an SSD by far. So. Hopefully I'll have more information soon as the windows fully loads and I get everything working properly with the boot screen. I have just about installed Windows 7 on that uh, hard drive that I was telling you about earlier and I've just got to finish a few more steps. Just want to do a quick update to tell you that everything's going hopefully as planned and hopefully this will work itself out too where it's kind of smaller on the screen once I'm finished. Um, who knows, we'll see, but I just want to give you a quick update. Alright guys, so check it out. Um, I've got everything pretty much together. I've got to install some drivers that came with the graphics card and with the Wi-Fi Bluetooth so that I can hopefully get this machine working correctly. Uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I get it done. Still in pieces, so that's the next step. So far I've installed uh, Windows and that's where I'm at right now. So once I get Windows working correctly, I will actually go ahead and go into the dual boot process. Alright guys, so I finally got everything working, I think. Um, just to give you a rundown, uh, I'm actually on my Mac side of the Hackintosh right now. Uh, I am able to run a dual monitor setup through my 32 inch television um, if I so choose and that's working out pretty well. I'm running HDMI to that television and I'm able to get the full complement of what's going on over there as you can see. Um, you can also see again that we are on the Macintosh side of the Hackintosh. Now here goes nothing. We're going to actually go in and hit the restart button and hopefully we can bust out into Windows. Um, this is 
really not that complicated. You just have to be really careful as you're doing this. Um, you should see your motherboard BIOS boot up screen first and then you can hit any button on the keyboard and you should get the option to bounce between Windows and Mac if you've uploaded your bootloader correctly. So let's see what happens. About to get to a point, I can hit it now. Now I've got the option of Mac or Windows. I just showed you Mac. Hopefully, I can show you Windows this time around. Bada bing, bada boom. Windows should be about to start up, and it starts up decently quick um, when it's all said and done. This is again another dual boot, uh, excuse me, dual monitor setup on my Windows side. Um, I did not install Wi Fi on. The, on my wireless card for Windows just because I'm going to be running uh, with an Ethernet cord because I'm going to be gaming on this Windows side. That was my whole point in, in doing this. Um, as you can see, you log right on in and you can see my Hackintosh. I'm just showing you guys an early look at how everything should be. And as you can see on this side as well, uh, you can see I can travel the mouse over there on this screen and then I can go back to my actual screen with the mouse and all should be well. Um, everything's working pretty good. The internet's working uh, and I'm running through an ethernet cord. Um, interestingly enough that initial boot up's a little slow but after it recognizes that that's what I want to use it pops right up. I don't know why it does that, but that's cool. I am going to be using Steam on this, and I'm going to be doing some computer gaming, which is why I went with this setup. Um, I also had the opportunity to pick and choose the actual updates that I uh, that I wanted to uh, install to my motherboard and my graphics card. So that could be why it's a little funky. I really scrutinized and handpicked which. Um, graphics card drivers and which motherboard drivers I was going to use so just in case you know you guys are curious about that um, here's my current drive setup right now this drive is Macintosh SSD 7200 RPM Windows drive under it and a 7200 RPM scratch drive for my Hackintosh and I will be adding about six more drives at some point I've got them I just gotta put them in um, that's pretty much it guys Again, everything seems to be working <laughs> well. This is just my initial setup. Like I said, there's a few little tweaks here and there, but nothing for me to, you know, get upset about. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just gonna go in and I'm going to restart it. And I apologize for my shaddy camera work. I'm holding this at my chest right now, but so far so good. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you're running a dual boot um, Hackintosh machine. Um, again, you have to have a little patience and be able to troubleshoot if you have a few issues. Uh, I was having an issue where my Windows was not booting up at first. That seems to have rectified itself after doing a fresh install. But if you guys have any questions, if you're trying to do this or have tried and given up, shoot me a message. Maybe I can help you because hopefully uh, mine is working right now. I'm going to boot back into Macintosh and the rest is as they say history.